Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Stinker77 and we're back on Project Ozone 3. This should be episode 6. And today, I think we're going to get into some storage. Today should be the day when we take care of this mess. Try to get something a little bit better. Maybe using compacting drawers. Maybe using storage drawers. Maybe even getting into some AE. I don't know. But I really want to get something better than this. Because I'm having trouble finding things. And it's just a real pain. Okay. So, um, before I get started though. I want to say thank you everybody. That Project Ozone 3 is my best series. My most liked series. I mean, I get lots of likes from it. And I'm getting a lot of comments. And your comments have really been helping me out. Figuring out some things that I can do. So, uh, thank you for that, everybody. I want to show you what I did in between uh, this video and the previous video. I set up this system right over here. This is the auto sifter. I made a little water wheel here that basically powers the thing. It just shakes this up, as you can see. And every so often, um, you can see the gravel there is going down. And it explodes. And so we have a vacuum chest that kind of sucks it all up. And it sets it up into this other chest over here. So our crate, I mean. So here's a crate here. I can feed in materials. It goes into this mechanical user, which places the blocks. This, I just picked up some pieces, collects stuff. Let me put that in there. And puts it over here. And look at all this here. It's got, you know, a lot of things in there. And of course, we don't have any way of compressing yet and things like that. I just need to get some storage worked out today. Okay. But there's also a couple of little things I want to do over here with this farm. Some little um, odds and ends and some um, just making the thing a little bit better before we really get into that. So let's get started. One of the things that's being built up over here are loot bags. We get a lot of these loot bags. Now there is no way of like putting, like say if you put four of these white bags together to compress them down to the next level that I have found. But there is a block that we can use. And it's right here. It's called bag storage. And it basically says this block is capable of storing most loot bags and convert between configured types. It will save its contents when broken. So I want to basically store loot bags into here, okay? So what are we going to do here? First, we're going to see what it takes to make it. And it looks like it just takes stone and iron and a chest. So that should be pretty easy if we have some stone. Do we have a chest anywhere? I probably, if I get some wood, I can make one. There's a chest right there. And we know we have iron in here. So there we go. We should have this just like that. Now, I also need for, this is for extra utilities. I need to get a filter for this. So, um, I think it's this one. Yes, it's just sticks, string, and redstone. So, where is my redstone? There's some redstone. There's some sticks. And there's some string. And we should be good to go then. Let me grab this. Okay. So, we have so far what types of bags? We have white ones. And blue ones. And purple ones. And green ones. And we probably have some more over here. There's uh, the goldish ones are uh, legendary and there's like a darker gold which I think is like an artifact or something like that. Artificial I think it's called. So we have legendary and we have artificial is what it's called right there. Okay. So I'm going to take this filter and I'm going to put each of these into here. Basically saying allow this stuff. See how it says whitelist? That means that it will allow these particular items through only. Okay. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put uh, this transfer node right here on the side. Okay, and I'm going to put in the filter. I don't need that anymore. So now you can see it's only queuing up the bags. Okay, i put that back in there. So now if I put this right here, okay, and you can see it says you can cycle through various bags of what you need to get. Um, I don't know which ones I want, so I'm going to just pick right now. I'm going to pick up the legendary loot bags. But now when I put this transfer pipe, um, so it should be taking bags out of here. And see, it's storing bags. And when I get to the amount I need, it would I could then pull this out if I wanted to. So it's basically converting this over. You can see it's going up. So basically, the bags are coming out of here. Let me see if I can sort this. You can see bags are being removed. That's excellent. So I should be able to just go over here. I got these bags here, and I'll just throw these in here. And I'll clean the ones over there over and bring this over here. So now we have a place to store loot bags. So that's part of our storage solution, and that's now done. All right, guys, I did some investigation work. This took me a little bit of time. What I found out is that we have this set world set up as a server. I can go back to the spawn island if I type slash spawn, and you can see this is where we are. This is where it's all set up for people who join. And then they have their own islands. And they've, some people have already set up some waystones. I don't have that yet. Um, but we're playing on a server. Wow, that was kind of scary. Um, and it turns out that on a server version of this uh, pack, 
Um, the abyssal craft animals, which are like the cows and sheep, have a fire trail behind them. So no matter where they walked or get pulled to to get killed or whatever, they would have fires. Um, I played this world in a single player world and it didn't have the trouble. So something with a server configuration instead of the single player configuration caused the issue. So I went in and I went into abyssal craft and just turned off that feature in the overworld. Okay, so now this is working properly like I thought it would. If I turn off the lights here, I actually put down the Cursed Earth again just to, you know, once I got this all figured out. And you can hear it already starting up, but we do not hear fires starting. So it's just something with the server version rather than, you can even hear the animals. But it's something between the server version and the single player version, which most people are playing. And that's the only difference. So I, I don't mind turning this one thing off just to make it work to be more in line with the single player. But you can see it's pulling in items. Items are getting put into here, and the bags are going over there. Okay, so now we're going to start with storage. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is I want to set up a little bit of a, a bank of storage drawers here that use both the controller, which is kind of like the controls where things go in the storage drawer system, and uh, compacting drawers, and then some other storage drawers for things that we... Uh, have a lot of okay i want that to be along here so the first thing i want to do here i got to make a controller so let's go look at that here the controller you can see it takes uh, redstone uh, comparators some stone and some other things so we comparators that's not hard to do it takes redstone torches so i've got some redstone here that should be enough for what we need now let's get some quartz and we have some stone and we might need some cobblestone and let's make up here some comparators. I think we should need probably two of these. Yes, for one controller. We only need one for now. Uh, we need to get a basic drawer, which, uh, do we have any of those already? I have sticks, but I got some wood. There's a chest. I just need a little bit more wood. I got like five. Do we have any more wood stored? There's some. Okay, so we make a basic storage drawer. Just, oops, that's wrong. Like this. And there it is, it's pretty easy. And that should be enough to make the controller. Once I get the diamonds, I put those over here just so I didn't lose track of them. And there we go, we have a controller, okay. So this, I'm gonna put over probably around, oh, there's an advancement right there. I'm gonna put them right, I don't know, right about here. I wanna have some space in the back because I plan on having some um, uh, various other things attached to it later on, okay. So we got that, and that's great. Now what we also then need to make is some comparators, or not comparators, some uh, compacting drawers. Okay, compacting drawers look like this, and they are just pistons and storage drawers and stone and iron. So we gotta make that, we gotta make a bunch of pistons. Um, so we need some iron, let's get some wood here. That'll work, okay. Okay, and what else we need? We probably need some more redstone. I've been working on over here trying to get some more diamonds and things. So no doubt I've got some redstone in here. There it is, some redstone. Okay, let's make up a batch of pistons here. Like that. 15 pistons, that's not bad. And then we have stone on us. We need to make some more drawers, which is not hard to do. We'll make some chests. Okay, actually let's make two sets of chests here. And then we'll put those there. We'll put all this there and there and there. And we'll just uh, balance this out. It'll do it for us. There we go. And we'll get 16 drawers. That's fine. Okay. And compacting drawers. It says we need have seven. That's because we only have um, enough pistons for that. We'll make more pistons in just a little bit. But here's what goes on. Okay. We get another quest. I'm going to put the um, compacting drawers on this side. Okay, and I guess I put all the other compacting drawers in there. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space because over here, how much space do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So put six, how about that? I'm gonna put six on the other side for regular drawers. Okay, but now what I wanna do with this is we keep getting these ores over here and I want them to be compacted down. So we, we have iron, we have gold, uh, platinum and osmium and silver and nickel and aluminum, that's pretty good. And we're gonna put these into these drawers here so let's just put one there and you can see it already compacts it up into what we'd like to have is this uh, or chunk okay it does that for us automatically so we'll just go in here I guess I can do this a little easier if I do this 
Okay. And there we go. So now we have some uh, spaces for various items. Now I should really make some more compacting drawers and I'll do that in a little bit. And I'm gonna get this all set up for the drops that we're getting over here so that we have places that'll make these ores really quick and maybe we can even get those uh, smelted down in some sort of automated furnace. All right, guys, I've set this up here. This is the basics of everything that's being dropped from the sieving section is here and uh, we have all of that so I just drag it over here bring it and put it in here so but basically you have iron little pieces which form the chunks once I use the furnace which I made uh, the endist furnace now um, I bring the iron back over here or whatever and it pours blocks iron and the nuggets and I did that for all of this so this is all pretty well set up I also over here I don't know if you can see this I have made an XP tap so that I can convert the essence into experience. Um, so that way we can use that experience later on if we need it. Okay. Now I was going to go into storage. Okay. And I wanted to show you this real quick. If you look back here on, this is in the row section here. There are the things for applied energistics. And I was thinking about trying to get into that today. Uh, we have gotten some Certus Quartz. I'm going to claim this right now. So there we go. Um, and we have to pulverize it. You can see it goes down. It makes quartz glass, makes the energy acceptor, the drives. You have all of the components you need. That's one side of this. The other side, though, it's going to be tricky and makes me think we not, might not be able to do this today. Uh, one thing you have to get right away is you have to get these presses. These are used to make components later on. You can see there's four of them. The And each of these, let me go out here. Here's a press. Unfortunately, the only way to make these, it looks like, is with this essence, okay? And like a piece, like a pure service course or whatever. And we don't have that. You can, the inscribers used to make them, basically copy them, okay? Or you go here, it says they can be found in meteorites in the world, but there are no meteorites here because it's all empty. So it looks like we have to get this Certus Quartz essence. Now, looking at that, okay, um, Looks like you get it if you get it from a seed reprocessor. You can get Certus Quartz seeds, which are tier three, and those take Intermediate Essence, and you know how that goes. That that's a whole different thing of making like other things. So, yeah, we're gonna be looks like going into mystical agriculture next instead of storage. Okay, so let me get that figured out where we're gonna go with that, and I'll start that up in just a second. This is gonna take forever. We have to get prosperity shards here. This will task. Then go to base essence through the inferium crafting seed, go up through prudentium cat crafting seed, and I think this might be like overlaid. I think then it goes over to here next, the intermediate crafting seed, then the certus seed. So this is the first thing here. We have to get a prosperity shard. Makes sense? Let's figure out how to do that. So prosperity shard, you can sieve. Uh looks like end stone, which we don't have, or crushed nether rack if you use an iron stiffen mesh so you can only use an iron stiffen mesh for it and we get prosperity shards and there's a 10% chance with crushed nether rack so if we head to the nether ooh i don't know about that if we head to the nether and we get some crushed nether rack we could actually get some of this stuff let me go see uh, about getting some armor together we have some but i don't want to use that um, i think we can make some out of out of um, lapis without going through the whole armor bench thing. Let me make sure we can. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can get some armor here. And it's not terrible armor, it's got some decent stats on it. So hopefully this will get us enough protection uh, to go into the nether, guys. I'm not sure I wanna do this. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna put things away here. Let's get rid of that and let's get all this stuff out of here. Find some space for stuff. Uh, we have some food with us. That's good. We have to uh, pick. Um, actually, the hammer might come in useful if we're going to be crushing things. So, uh, okay, guys. Let's go get some blocks. Always good to have some blocks. There we go. And we're going to go into the nether. We're going to see what happens. I'm a little bit scared. Hopefully, this will work out. Okay, we just arrived. And I haven't been here in a while, as you know. I'm going to eat, too. Um, look at all those monsters over there. I didn't actually make the way down. All I did was make like this ramp here that goes out to about here and there's nothing down. And look at, the, oh, they're shooting at me already. What the heck, guys? Ah. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this if I can't, I'm gonna have to get some gravel maybe to gravel down, but 
This is just terrible. Where our, our portal started is just really, really, really bad location-wise. Um, let me figure a way to get down there and probably we'll have to do a quick battle. Um, but hopefully we can get some netherrack. And none of that looks like really look netherrack, does it? That does over there. There's some above us. You know what? Let's try that, okay? Let me, uh, let's go up here and see if we can get some netherrack up here. Why not? Why have to go fight the guys? We don't want to. This is netherrack, right? Uh, let's try not to mine above our heads. And don't... What's that? Lunar ore. Do we need that? We may need that. I'm going to see if we can get that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can feign mine that. Um, I don't want, no, want to vein mine too much of this, but I might just try it out, see what happens. Uh, okay. Well, then that stuff fell down. So now we have <laughs> some resources. Let me gather all this up. We're going to go back to base really quick and then crush it down and uh, see what happens. All right, we're going to get some crushed netherrack here. If you take netherrack, you can crush it with a hammer just like you do the, uh, the getting the cobblestone to gravel so i'm just going to crush all of this because i don't know how much i need wasn't there a quest to get this stuff or did we already get that quest in the beginning here landium we need landium okay that's what we haven't done yet okay so we're gonna go this this might kill us um let's uh go down slowly <laughs> okay we should be about done there we go okay a little bit slowly oh our hammer's dead but that's okay we'll make another hammer real quick here ow I need some more sticks. And we'll get some more iron, which should be some more in here. Make a hammer. Dunk, dunk, and dunk, dunk. And there we go, and... Okay, we have a lot of crushed one, except for one that we might as well crush it too. Now, the, um, it said I need a stiffened iron mesh, not, I, again, not the uh, diamond ones. Need an iron one. So we gotta take out the diamond ones that I have here. Okay. And they'll stack. Now I'm gonna put in the 10 that I have here. You can see, there we go. Okay. So that'll work for this whole system. And then I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna put in this, and it should sieve it through. Now, I guess we had some other nether rack in here. I'm not sure. Oh, it, the vacuum chest gathered that up. Nice. Okay, we'll put that in there. And it should be creating stuff for us right now. Um, see, we're getting some other ores. And there it is, the prosperity shard. That's what we need. Boom, we got our achievement right there. Come on. Where's the music? There it is. Okay. We're in the delta phase here. Claim that. Okay, from here... Oh, it looks like we also have Inferium. We can get that because we already have Inferium from mobs and things. So there are different infusion crystals, okay? And those are useful for making things. We'll probably have to get into that. Uh, a base essence seed. Let's try to go this route as best we can. Base essence seed. Thank you. Okay, that didn't work. Seed. Where is the seed? There's lots of seeds here. Is it a base crafting seed? Is that what it was? It said base essence, right? Base crafting seed. Okay, that's what it mean is. Okay, so base crafting seed again is four prosperity shards around a piece of uh, regular grass seed. So there we got that. We have grass seed. I think I have it in this right here. So we'll just make one of those and see what happens over here. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. Cue the music. Thank you. Claim that. Now, we got to make from here Inferium Crafting Seed. Tier 1 Crafting Seed. So that, I think we just take if, uh, Essence. And we already have the Essence here. The seed we made and four of those. So let's find that. We should have that plenty of that somewhere. So one of these chests will probably have some. 
Well, I'm not seeing there's some right there. Not a lot, guys. Um, we'll have to get a farm made to get this stuff. But there we go. We have the tier one crafting seed. Let's see, so we're slowly getting up through this. This will take up some time, though, and <laughs> takes a lot of time. There we go. Claim that. So the next one will be that this one is a prudentium, prudentium crafting seed. Now this thing is the tier two. And it takes that, but it takes Prudentium Essence. And to get this, this is the trick. We have to use these crystals, okay? So we're going to have to get a crystal. So let me go look at that, and we'll see what we can do. It looks like there is a specific crystal that you have to use. This one is called Inferium Infusion Crystal, and it's used to make Inferium into Prudentium. Okay, so we have to get all of these materials here, and we should have that all on us. So let's make this particular crystal right here, okay? And there that is. Now this should have given us an achievement again. Right, did not, did it not? It did. Okay, so we should get that, there it is. Okay, so now with that, we should be able to take this crystal here, surround it by this, and it makes Prudentium, okay? So if we make a bunch of these, we have now four pieces of that. Okay, and that's another achievement. This is gonna be great getting all these here. Okay, but now we should be able to make the seed. So if we take the seed we have here and we go through it, and there's the tier two crafting seed. So we have that done. Come on, pick it up, there it goes. We're getting a lot of uh, rack right now. Okay, so basically to go from here to here, we're gonna need the next crystal. And this would be the uh, Prudentium, right? The Prudentium crystal, right here. And it takes the previous crystal, Prudentium Essence, to make this one. Oh my gosh. So we gotta get make four more of those things. So if we take this here, do like that. We got four pieces, right? And then we should be able to make this. And there we have that. Okay, makes sense. I like get the achievement. There it is. And we still have the old one. You see that? So now we have two of these. We can slowly build like a little arsenal here of, of these crystals. So now that we have that, um, we have to make this. Oh my gosh. Like this. I think we may just have enough here. This into the Prudentium, like that. And we'll take this and we'll do like this. And we got four intermediate essence. There we go. Another achievement. And that should get us a tier three crafting seed. So already we've kind of worked through from here to here to here to here. This one should be done. There we are. Look at that. Okay. So once we have that, we should be able to make the Certus seed, right? Certus Court seeds. Let's go look at that really quick. We gotta make it more of this essence, and that's gonna be a pain because we gotta make the crystal, and we're pretty much out of Inferium Essence, okay? So we need to have a way of producing Inferium Essence, and I think I know the way, if you know what I did in Stoneblock. I'm gonna see if I can do that here. All right, guys, we're hitting another rabbit hole here. I wanna make the Garden Cloche. This thing is great. It's a little bit different because we have to do advanced crafting, but we also need to get, um, treated wood planks, we need to get steel mechanical components, and we need to get a vacuum tube, and for instance, the treated wood, I know we need to get a coke oven, okay, so that's what I was going to first, and also we need to have a hammer, that's for the engineer's hammer, it takes some iron, takes some sticks, but it also takes an industrial hemp fiber, okay, and I got some over there, I grew some of the seeds that I've got for hemp, I grew it here really quick and got some hemp fiber here so we should have enough right now to make the engineer's hammer so let's do that really quick and there's that now the coke oven here probably get an achievement for that too takes coke brick and you have to have 27 of these and see so you got a bunch of these bricks and sandstone and regular bricks now i have been cooking up bricks right there okay so we got a bunch here we only need 27 of these so let's make sure we get that okay and that's all I need for that, okay? Awesome. 
Now I'm going to put it over here by where we have the uh, water mill. Oh, we're getting lots of stuff here. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. What you do is you make a 3x3 three three grid of these bricks. Okay. And then you hit it with the hammer. Like this. And there it is. It's a Coke oven. Now the, what we're trying to do here is you, we will be cooking up some things with some coal and stuff. And we eventually will get here. See, coal will produce coal coke. But you also get creosote oil. See that? And we want to get the oil. Okay, so it says blocks of coal, right? Fortunately, I have been getting blocks of coal from here. So I have a whole stack. I'm going to throw this in here. This should give us a lot of the creosote. So let's put it here. Okay, you can see it's working. Now this does take a lot of time. So we're going to be here AFK for a while waiting for this to happen. But we can take the output into like a drum or something like that and gather up what we need for the creosote, okay? And that's going to be awesome. So then we can make the treated wood. And that will get take the first part of the garden cloche, okay? Pretty much all of the things from immersive engineering like this take some sort of treated planks or treated wood. And you get that by doing bit in the creosote. So we're going to do that right now. Look at here, some getting some plates. That's that's real easy to make. We don't even need to make that with the workbench, probably. Um, so the, really the only other thing then is the vacuum tube. And it does take the workbench. But again, it's just copper you know nickel I mean, we got most of this stuff it's not gonna take us long it's just gonna take us a little bit to get the coke oven let me wait for this for a while and see what we get okay guys i have built this and it has functioned and run and it completely filled this up we've got a lot more of the creosote oil there so that's great uh the bad thing is i've been looking around at what's going on with having to make the garden cloche and um i don't think we're gonna be able to do it because i can get this stuff fine but you got to get this tier two crafting table which takes the tier one and we need to get these basic components, which take iron slate. And if you look here, to get the black's iron, um, you're going to have to do this ender crafting, which is ender bio uh, thingy and jade. And, you know, I don't have any of that stuff. So we're not going to get that anytime soon. So I thought I would do something else. And I'm going to try something here real quick. If you look here, we have to get this right here, this mob farming. I've seen a lot of the quests in here. Uh, depend upon this okay and so we have to be able to kill a zombie still we've already got a skeleton we have to kill a creeper and kill an ancient golem so what i'm going to do and i'm going to do this off camera but i'm going to set up a little uh manual mob farm on top of this one so that we can then just do what we need to do just for this quest and then we'll tear it down okay so it's just like what i've done in stone block and other series it's pretty basic stuff you've seen it from everybody else and let me build it and i'll show you how it looks I know it's ugly, but I only have to have it for a few minutes here until we get what we need for those spawns. Uh, and I'm going to also use, since we've got five of them, I'm going to use one of the Drop of Evils just to make things spawn faster. And hopefully we get what we needed uh, from this. Now, I'm also going to put up in here a redstone torch. This does not stop uh, mobs from spawning, light level wise. Okay. Now, basically, inside of here, I have it three blocks high. I'm hoping... That the golem will spawn if it doesn't we'll have to make it a different design but we'll see how this goes let's put this drop of evil in here guys okay and there it goes and i'll put that right there now see how it got dark instantly and immediately we got a zombie to spawn this is really good and this jump thing that i've got i don't really like it so i'm going to probably turn that off here okay so we just got a zombie killed now let's see how do we turn off that that totem thing i don't know um Nothing spawning. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. If we go into here, can we turn it off? If we use like one of these, like this a slow totem, if I hit this, because it let us turn this off. Um, how do you remove it, guys? I want to remove this. That's probably a good thing to have. But see, now that I have two of those, how do I turn them off? Um, I can use the totem, uh, the totem, but is there a way to, to shifting it or controlling it? I don't understand how you can get it out of here. Okay. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know because now I have two of them that I don't know how to use. <laughs> okay. So we just have gotten the, looks like we have to do a creeper still and the golem. Okay. So if there's anything spawning up here yet. I don't see anything. We're going to let this go for a little bit. In fact, I might just take out these torches just in case. Just in case. Oh, there's a skeleton. There we go. 
Okay. It's hard to see what's in here now because of that, but oh well. We're going to wait for this for a little bit. If I see a golem or I see a creeper, I'll sure to record it. I see some creeper feet. Let's go get these creepers here. And this should get us that particular um, advancement. Part of the advancement, anyway. There we go. Okay, I'm still waiting to see if a golem spawns. So hopefully that'll spawn soon. I think we have to make these uh, ability bottles from everlasting abilities to get rid of the things that we have here. So I'm going to try to make one of those. I might as well make another one. Since we have two abilities on us. And I think that that's how this works. Um... Yes, yeah, see, so I can put it into a, to a bottle. Okay, that works great. And then if I have the other bottle, I just bottle the jump boost. Okay, so that's how you get it, guys. Everlasting abilities, that's pretty easy to take them out. And uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go check on, see if I have anything spawned up here. See if we can get that golem. All right, guys, I have been here for quite a while trying to get that last piece, the ancient golem, to spawn. It's not spawning up here. So that doesn't work. Um, so what I think we're going to do next time is I think we're going to try to do this right here. Go to the hunting dimension. That should give us more of an area to hunt with and possibly have a golem spawn there. Okay. So it's kind of associated with this. So I'm thinking that that's what, what uh, we have to do. Okay. So uh, I didn't get anything accomplished that I wanted to. I got some storage drawers here and some storage things going on. And we got a Coke oven, which I'm not really going to use for a while. You know, I've done a little bit of here and there, some things, but nothing, I don't feel like I've progressed a lot, and I really want to keep on going. So we're going to next time, like I said, we're probably going to work on getting the hunting dimension done, and then from there, um, who knows, we'll see what we can do. But I think we got to get to mob farming, okay? So, there I am, all blue, wearing my lapis armor. Thanks, everybody. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. There you go. You get all the notifications. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.